everybody and welcome to episode 2 of the Skylarkin podcast with me Nico Yearwood. I want to say first of all thank you to everyone who listened to the first episode. Um I really appreciate that. I had good numbers. Over 266 views or listens on YouTube, over 50 downloads on Spotify. It's also on iTunes actually. So if you're on iTunes Go and leave a review and say it's the best podcast you ever heard in your life. That it totally changed your life. You no longer do crack anymore or eat vegan food anymore. I bought a camera. Since comedy is over for the foreseeable future, I bought myself a camera. And I actually plan to put some video on this podcast. So one day you'll be able to see my my beautiful face. But that's not ready yet because I don't know how to use the camera. These cameras are difficult nowadays. It's not like back in the day. Learning a camera now is like flying a helicopter, man. So many buttons, so many features. Back in the day, you didn't need, you just point and shoot, press the button and wind it up. (laughs) Wind it up, that shows my age. No, but I got this camera and there's so many things you gotta learn. Like there's this, the F number, the shutter speed, ISO, aperture, white balance. There's a a histogram or some shit. I don't know. All this stuff I got to learn and I I don't know none none of it. Like back in the day, you didn't have to worry about none of this. All you had to worry about is getting everybody in the rectangle. You're like, come on, Deborah, you're too far to the left. Come in a bit more. Andrew, you can't stand at the back. Come forward. And that, 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 that was it. It was mainly composition you were worried about and people saying cheese. You got to say cheese. That, that was it. But no. I got F number, I gotta worry about shutter speed, I gotta worry about exposure. It's too complicated. But I'll figure it out, I reckon. I'll figure it out someday. I reckon by episode 15 is when I'm gonna have that video footage. That's when it's all gonna come together, man. Mark my words. You watch. The other thing I don't like about modern photography is that you got unlimited shots, so people just abuse it. No, I don't I don't like that one. I, you can you can see my double chin. No, I don't like that one. I look a bit lazy-eyed. But well, that's because you got a double chin and you're lazy-eyed. That That's not my fault or the camera's fault. That's that's your face. Jeez, man. Back in the day, you didn't have them problems. You didn't know if you liked that one until two weeks later. And you can't be like, no, take another one. Now, I only got 24 shots, love. That's it, 24 shots. This costs money. You know what I mean? And men weren't sending dick pics like that back in the day, you know? Film costs money, dick pics were expensive. If a man sent you a dick pic back in them times, so <laughs> that meant he really loved you, you know? <laughs> we're like, oh, he's so romantic. No, a dick pic is worth nothing. Also, you couldn't, you didn't have that screen to tell you what you were taking. So it was a hit or miss with a dick pic. You had, you had to get a family member come, <laughs> come in, come in and help you. Like, hey, dad, I want to send this off to Sandra. Come and help me. (laughs) I don't even know what I'm talking about. Anyhow. But I'm learning a bit though. I'm learning a bit. Like I learn about the F number. The F number that it takes um, the size of the aperture. Now the aperture apparently is the thing that lets light into the lens of the camera. The lower the F number, the bigger the aperture is going to be open. And then I learn about shutter speed. That's the, psh, psh, you know, that's not the technical term for it, but you know, that's the cha cha. That decides how quickly the thing open, the thing, the shutter. Yeah, you can see why I'm struggling with this. But no, it's all about light. Photography is all about light. Well, that's what they say on YouTube. That's that's the thing. You can learn anything on YouTube. You know. You know what's also on YouTube. Episode one of this podcast, Sky Larkin. Go check that out if you didn't listen already. Click subscribe and tell a friend or tell your mother. <laughs> yeah, I actually enjoy in lockdown. There's some I like the slower pace of life. I'm not rushing up and down in the train every night to run to the gig. Also, I'm eating a lot healthier. Well, well, I'm not eating as much fast food. Because to get home from the comedy club to the train station, I got to walk past like the pizza place next door. There's two McDonald's on the way. Walk to walk. Chinese restaurant. 
There's a Five Guys, a Pizza Hut, and a Burger King in the station. I don't have all that willpower. You know, I spent five grand on fast food in my last tax year. I was so shocked and ashamed. I could have invest that in, I don't know, in some oil. I could have bought some oil. Oil is negative now for those who follow the stock market. I don't know what it means. But uh, it's just something I read the other day. Actually, I saw a great meme today that said, um, 2020, the year that toilet paper costs more than oil. But yeah, I spent 5000 on fast food. I know I won't be having any Chinese food for the foreseeable future though. Because in China, 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 <laughs> though Trump says it, China. China, China, China. China, 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 China. I've been saying China, 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 China. Um, in China, they're trying to blame the Africans for coronavirus, and they beating them up, they evicting them. Um, they're not letting them in the malls. I saw even a McDonald's had up a sign, "No blacks allowed," or something like that. Very racist stuff. But it's not really racist if they don't let black people in the McDonald's. If anything, that's quite pro-black. <laughs> They're protecting black lives because McDonald's serving poison, isn't it? But yeah, it's messed up. So I'm going to ease off the Chinese food until they learn how to treat us properly. What else? I've been doing meditation. Oh yeah, you know I was dissing WhatsApp groups, but I was actually added to a positive WhatsApp group, a productive one. It was a 21 day meditation challenge. And there was like eight people in there and he would send a meditation. And at the end of the day, you gotta type, day one is done, day two is done. So there was like accountability. So you felt compelled to do it, you know? And that was good. I did it all 21 days. Thing about meditation though is that when you sit down to do it, you realize how little control you have over your mind. Like your mind, like you would think sitting down to just clear your mind would be easy. But your mind just be gallivanting all over the place. You'd be like, oh shit, did I lock the door? I got to cancel some direct debits. Rihanna Boxy look good. What's that sensation in my leg? Is that Corona? You know, you might just be all over the place. It's wild. I will tell you what it's done for me though. I think like it has given me a buffer between me and my emotions. Before, when I had an emotion, I would just act on it. Like let's say I get angry, it would just come out. But now there's a buffer, there's a delay and I can actually feel my anger rising and I could do something about it. Like I now have a buffer between me and my emotions. It's like. I have a secretary now for my emotions. Whereas before I would just get angry, the secretary is like, excuse me, Mr. Yearwood, but we have some anger and resentment here in the lobby here to see you. And then I can respond like, oh, okay, I'll be out in 10 minutes, you know, and then I can deal with it. So that's what I found. It's made me a more peaceful person. I don't kill spiders anymore. You know, I put them on a piece of tissue and put them outside because they're all part of the circle of life Hakuna Matata and all that good stuff yes Um, what else is going on people wondering what is life going to be like after the lockdown you know well I for one ain't going to be shaking our hands for no time soon I always liked the fist bump that was my thing I like the fist bump it's more hygienic you know there's less contact that's what I like. In fact, after this, I'm not even doing fist bumps. I'm just doing head nods. I see you just, yeah, what's going on? Head nod, don't come near me. Or we could do like a, a head bow. You know, like they do before a Kung Fu fight. But shaking hands, that has to die out, surely. I'm surprised it lasts that long, to be honest. Apparently when it first started, it was meant to be a, a symbol of peace. Like back in the BC days. I think it started in Greece, they said. So you would shake hands to show that it's empty, that you weren't carrying a sword or a dagger. Like, hey buddy, look, you can trust me. My hand is empty. I don't have a dagger. 
or sword. I left my AK in a horse and carriage. We're friends, buddy. Come on, man, give me some love. Pull them in tight and stop them with the other hand. <laughs> got you, motherfucker. I got two hands. <laughs> that's, that's dumb. Um, but it's ironic, I guess, that you used to show your hand to show that you didn't have your weapon on you. But now the weapon is invisible because Corona is a biological weapon. You heard it here first, folks. Um, <laughs> I love a conspiracy theory. Um, oh, yeah, I went on Bill Gates' Instagram page. My, he's getting abuse. Like 95% of the comments are people calling him a devil. We don't want your poison. Keep your vaccine to yourself. Apparently, they said that Bill Gates want to vaccinate the whole world, but yet his kids aren't vaccinated. I don't know if that's true or not, but... You guys gonna get the vaccine? I don't know, man. I guess we, we're gonna be forced to get it. All I know is that I don't want the first batch. The first batch of anything is never any good. Remember the first time you make chocolate chip cookies? Yeah, they didn't come out good, did they? Nah. But the fourth or the fifth try, you, you mastered it. So I'll get, I'll get the fifth generation vaccine, you know? Or if I could avoid it totally. Don't want that shit, man. A lot of people saying that also the same Gates is going to um, make you get chips. They're going to put a chip in the vaccine. Here's the thing with chips. We all going to get chipped eventually. It's, it's bound to happen because here's what's going to happen. Like 10, 15. In fact, they're already chipping people in Sweden. In some Scandinavian countries. But here's what's going to happen. The people who get chipped, they're going to get special offers. They're going to get 20% 20, 20 off restaurant food or free cinema tickets. Then the other is going to feel left out. They're going to be like, hey, I want to go to the cinema too. Watch Fast and Furious 29. You know? Or those, who people, those people who get chipped... They're going to have a fast because they're going to have all, all your information, your passport, your bank, everything. The people who get chipped, when they go to travel, they're going to get in like a speedy passport line. They just zoom through. And that's going to make people go and get chipped because we don't like standing to go through immigration control. Don't like to queue for that. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how it's going to happen, but we all going to end up there someday. Um, Djokovic, the tennis player, world number one, said he don't want no vaccine. He said, I, I might have to give up tennis because who knows what's going on. Anyways, I'm not a scientist, guys. So don't listen to me. I'm just a man with a microphone trying to survive. What else? Oh, yeah. I watched Space Jam the other day. I bought Space Jam on Amazon Prime. For my daughter, found out today that it's on Netflix. Jesus. Um, yeah, you know what's the first song on Space Jam? R. Kelly. Yeah. I believe I can fly. That's on there. Space Jam is a classic, or used to be a classic. They should go back and edit that out, put in a different song. Shouldn't they? I don't know. Should movies be affected by the past actions of a singer or actor? I don't know. Oh, well. But the new MJ documentary is out. Michael Jordan documentary. Not the R. Kelly's work colleague. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Jordan documentary is out. It's great. I can't wait till next when it comes out Monday again oh man that's the thing like this is a great time to bring out that documentary because people are craving sports there's no sports on TV so this is a brilliant time to drop that documentary like I would watch anything now sports I would watch curling the worst sport on earth I would watch curling 
I would watch what's another I would watch darts. What's another shit sport? Um fencing. I would watch fencing. That's how bad it is. In fact, I would watch a man putting up a fence as a sport. Ladies and gentlemen, up next we have John, 46, two kids, recently divorced. His choice of wood is cedar rather than redwood. His ex-wife was asking him to build a fence for many years, but he's finally decided to do it as a final fuck you, bitch. <laughs> um, anything. I don't even stop my cats from fighting anymore. In fact, I bet on it. Come on, Jasper. <laughs> no, the documentary is great. And it's good to see Jordan and Pippin and them guys and Rodman. Rodman was ahead of his time, innit? Like Rodman looked like how people look now. He looked like he had all the tats and colored hair and all that like 20 years before his time. Before it actually happened. And yeah, I'm going to wrap this up. I'm going to go downstairs. Oh yeah, today we got Disney Plus. So I'm going to go and watch all the Marvel um avengers and whatever marvel universe movies so that's me i'm out if you enjoyed the podcast leave me a message on instagram subscribe on youtube please leave a review on itunes that would help big time and yes stay safe wash your hands brush your teeth i'm out peace goodbye